Hi and welcome to the seventh video of this tutorial series. Last video we made a square appear on the screen using vertex arrays. And this video we will begin with implementing textures into our game engine or game. So begin with going uh, into the structure you made, vertex data, and in it create a GL float and name it texture coordinates with two components then go to your vertices array and create your texture and now we will create the texture coordinates so um, say this is an, a cube and this is uh, and this vertex is zero zero this one is one zero this one is one one and this one is zero one um well actually wait I'll try to draw it yeah so no say this is zero zero and I'll do it in like this color yes this one is 50 zero so 50 pixels to the left this one is 50 50 and this one is 0, 050. Now, no matter what, and I'll do this in green, the texture coordinates will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1. So, no matter how many pixels are between these points at these two vertices the texture coordinates stay the same so even if we I'll remove everything so even if say um, this point is 60 70 or something this one is is 90 70 this one is I'm just making this up one 130 70 all right no, sorry this would be 90 130 sorry and this is then 60. 130, yeah, doesn't matter. Then the texture coordinates would still be 0, 0 for this corner, 1, 0 for this corner, 1, 1 for this corner, and 0, 1 for this corner. Um, so yeah, and this is, if this is exactly the middle between these, a bit in a between the bottom left and the top left vertice then this will be 0 0 5 and then this is 0 5 0 okay so I hope you kind of get that so if you turn to your code, so for the first vertice, the first texture coordinate will be 0, 0, 0. So 2 times 0, then you move up. And the second will be 1, 0. 
then it will be one one and the last one will be zero one now just a second I have to do some formatting okay hope this is right okay so now we have set the texture coordinates uh, so if we run this now this will still work perfectly so now um, let's do one more thing for this video so go to your constructor and type gl enable client state gl texture chord array and then do gl text chord pointer so uh, in this function the first one will be the size and that will be 2 the type shall be uh, gl float the size will be simply the size of size of vertex data and then type so gl gl void pointer to offset of vertex data and texture coordinates so it's it's quite similar to the vertex pointer but it's this time for textures so if you run this it still works perfectly so next video we shall actually load some images and display them on the screen so see you then